our next guest had me scrambling for a dictionary upon the announcement of the National Gallery's new biennial exhibition and award scheme. Gallery director Natalie Urquhart is here to tell us more about this. Natalie, thanks for being here and help me define biennial for maybe some folks at home uh, who uh, also are reaching for the dictionary on that one. You know, it's a great kickoff to the conversation tonight. And a, a biennial is literally that. It's every two years, a large gathering of art. Um, I think many people might have heard about the Venice Biennial, or they call it the Biennale. Closer to home, we have the Havana Biennial, which is coming up in April. That's been running for many years. And it's really an exhibition that looks at showcasing the best of local art for an international audience as well as a local audience. But it may be over time to even expand that conversation with our regional um, um, colleagues as well. So a big showcase of art. Now, the, uh, the, the roster for the uh, first biennial is like a who's who of, of K-Man's artists right there. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the kind of the selection process and some of the aims of it. Because one thing that really caught my eye is that uh, you're not trying to pencil anyone into a pigeonhole here. You're, you want to uh, kind of encourage a very wide breadth of expression. Absolutely. And you know, often we do exhibitions at the National Gallery, you've been down there many times, that are thematic or we, we've got a particular concept that we're trying to explore with artists. But certainly for this inaugural event, uh, we wanted it to be wide open. So we were really inviting artists to bring their very best projects, maybe experimental projects that they, they've been thinking about doing but hadn't got to yet, and submit that to the jury. So we've had an independent jury. Um, artists have really gone through a stringent uh, two-day juring process, so in a way that's a professional development opportunity in itself, which is part of the reason we're doing the biennial. And then, of course, um, our curatorial team, which is myself, Simon and Will at the National Gallery, then get uh, to work directly with the artists to develop the projects and ultimately put the exhibition together. And along with the exhibition, which uh, premieres this Friday, the 9th of February, I got a sneak peek of it today, and it was pretty, pretty cool. A lot of uh, variety in there. But uh, in addition to the exhibition, there's also an award scheme. Tell me about um, this award and uh, who it's named after. Well, again, we wanted this to really, um, this project and this idea of a biennial to have major impact on the development of the art scene in Cayman, to increase opportunities for our artists, um, increase visibility both locally and internationally. So the award is a natural um, extension of that. Um, there are actually two awards. Uh, the first is named in honor of our, really the forefather of Caymanian art, Bendel Hyde. Everybody knows Bendel. And he's celebrating 45 years of art making this year, having had his first exhibition in 1974 at the Royal Palms Hotel. Wow. So that award is going to be a cash prize of $5,000. And there's going to be an invitation to the successful artist to have a solo exhibition at the National Gallery, which is a major deal and is funded as well. Um, and then, of course, the opportunity for the gallery to try and raise funds to buy that piece for the National Art Collection. And that would be fantastic there. So we do have an action-packed weekend planned at the National Gallery. I've got a couple uh, graphics made up there. So, Natalie, let's talk about uh, the, uh, the events there. We have a special lecture uh, exploring biennial models in the Caribbean right there. Talk a little bit briefly about that in just a few seconds there. That's uh, something where... It's going to be our guest, uh, one of the jurors, actually both jurors, coming down to um, learn more about the art scene as well. It's been local and international jurors, and that's been very important to and us. And we also have an art po portfolio clinic, so it's we key do. that you know, if you want to uh, have your art po portfolio critiqued, to get that in in advance. Yes, give us a shout at the gallery tomorrow. Talk to Jessica, our education officer. And these are just two uh, examples of multiple events and workshops that we're doing for artist professional development over the next three months, both here and in Cayman Brack. Fantastic, Natalie. Thank you so much for being here. Coming up after the break, we'll, uh, we will have, let me just remind you to look on our news tip line, guys, because you can get us on 527-2727. That was uh, not a great way to stick the landing, but heck, we just try our best here at Cayman 27.